welcome back everyone to the Vedic Academy so in the previous video in the previous class you noticed that there has been a pattern change in the new uh, SSC CGL exam 2016 and in this video we will be studying the pros and cons of the new pattern and how to deal with it so let's begin if you have not watched the previous video well, do watch it to get an a detailed idea of what's the new pattern and so that it will be easy for you to understand the pros and cons in this week so let's just do a recap of the new pattern in uh, quickly so the first the number of questions is 100 instead of 200 the total marks remain same that is 200 the total time has been reduced from 120 minutes to 75 minutes and in each section now there will be 25 questions instead of 50 questions so and this question paper will be online you all know that so this is the pattern for tier 1 tier the same and tier 3 uh, will be a new tier that is descriptive paper of essay writing letter writing pursue writing etc and it will consist of 100 marks and the total marks for consideration of rank will be same 700 earlier the 100 marks was for interview now it will be the scripted paper so 700 remains 700 so now we'll see the pros and cons of the new pattern so now we'll be discussing the cons of the new pattern first uh, so why are we are discussing cons first because i'll tell you that on the whole this new pattern is advantageous to us so we'll just tell you this few cons that are present and then we'll discuss the major advantages which are hidden behind these cones okay so the first disadvantage is that the change in mode of tests has the change in game plan so many of us have been preparing for this exam since the last years in the last two years by practicing a lot practicing a lot in the way sheets but the now online test is there so no way sheets are there so the plane the game plan has changed completely so this is a con you have to plan from a new from the scratch and you have only two months for that second thing the risk factor has increased why the risk factor has increased because each question is now equivalent to two marks so if you answer only four questions wrong you get minus two earlier it was minus one so you can't just risk guessing so you have to be accurate earlier if you have answered 37 questions in gk and eight or nine of them were incorrect then it didn't matter a lot but now you have to answer accurately you can't just guess 24 or 23 gk questions out of 25 and get eight of them wrong you can't afford that answer 16 17 only answer 18 only but answer try to answer them correct so that you may get more marks even if you answer now 15 correct you'll get 30 marks that is a lot of marks so don't just try guessing in general awareness and aim for accuracy so another disadvantage is the new descriptive section requires some new skill practice so there was no descriptive paper earlier many of them have disadvantage in writing essay essay in either languages in english or hindi they are present in both but in either you may face problems because we are not at practice you not practice for it but don't worry for this section because it is after tier 1 and tier 2 so we will worry we will be worrying about that later on you will get around 2, two months I think for this section preparation this section alone just like you got in the interview phase so don't worry for this and we will teach you how to uh, score high in the descriptive paper just stay connected with us and the last disadvantage is that it requires a more calm mind yeah because earlier it was 120 minutes even if you're distracted for five minutes you still have 155 minutes but here if we, a distraction of five minutes will lead you a very less time 70 minutes only 70 minutes you can't just if you if you're stuck in a question then you are losing more marks here earlier if you were stuck in one question and you have wasted four minutes in that then it, it didn't matter that much but now if you lose four minutes in just one question that you are losing four to five marks in other questions just by answering by not answering those two questions extra so you need to be more calm mind you need to be very uh, you need to be 
very sincere to what you are doing you need to skip if you are not able to answer that skip it fast because you will be losing 4 to 5 marks in the in uh, just for answering that question so it will require a combine it will require a new strategy so be prepared for it i'll just tell you the advantages now now we will discuss the pros of the new pattern that is the advantages so what are the advantages so more time per question that is the most advantages part we have got 75 minutes and it was 120 minutes for 200 questions now we have 75 minutes for 100 questions we have more time per question so what does it indicate it indicates that you can answer more and more math so mathematics is the key aspect why i will tell you because the perfect plan for execution is we will tell you that in the later videos but for now i'll tell you that you will be able to answer more math questions earlier you may uh, you might be able to answer only 30 to 40 number of math questions and get around 35 to 36 in maths but now you'll be able to get answer 24 or 23 maths in the new pattern how i will tell you in the later videos and let's see the second advantage is that tier one now becomes more scoring so as i told you earlier also that tier one will be not a easy tier now because earlier the cutoffs used to be 102 103 but now the cutoffs will increase because each and every one will score high why everyone will score high just it is directly proportional to time they get so they are getting more time per question so they, it is very evident that the now tier one becomes more scoring and hence more you can say it, you get more advantage if you score high in tier one you will have to score suppose you answer only five questions more from other candidates now then you will be 10 marks ahead from them and in tier two you will have to get you are now relaxed you got get a relaxation of 10 marks from those candidates so this is a very important aspect tier one now becomes more important so third one is no mr so no mr no omr mistakes you can't bubble wrong now many of them might bubble two or three questions wrong so they instead of getting plus three they would have got minus 0. 0.75 so loss of around four marks now they will not do that because it will be online you can just click the right answer nothing omr mistakes so this is an advantage to us of the online mode and the last one that less pressure on tier 2 as it is more scoring so if you get only 5 or 10 marks more in this so pressure on tier 2 will be reduced earlier you thought that you should get 340 or 330 320 now if you get 5 marks more 5 questions more in tier 1 just 5 questions more the 10 marks will be pressurized uh, the pressure will be reduced from the tier 2 part so on the whole this is a good thing the change of pattern take it positively don't consider it to be a menace so just consider it a boon to you and prepare well for it we will tell you how to prepare it don't worry just follow us and with time we will tell you the pattern the uh, new technique of study and also some we will tell you which mock test should take so because mock test has been become more essential now because it's online exam and you have to practice a lot to get perfect in online exam so it will be new for many candidates so just practice a lot and stay connected with us and subscribe our channel the way you can be to stay connected with us and goodbye